I moved to Queensland as a qualified paramedic and I started working here as an ACP, but I had come from advanced paramedic level, which is kind of CCP equivalent in Ireland. And then I stepped down to ACP when I moved here, aiming to do the CCP internship again because I had a grad dip from Ireland. So when I started the CCP program, I was in a kind of funny situation. I was just back from maternity leave. I had a one-year-old. I was still breastfeeding, which I hadn't really told anyone at the time. And I hadn't been back at work long, so I was more than a year kind of out of clinical work. And then I came into the program with a different qualification to everybody else, like a foreign qualification. But it was a good few years since I had done the study. And like I had in my favour quite a lot of experience. I was very different in the cohort. Like I, I wasn't the typical CCP intern when I started here. And the feeling I had was that I was very much with a question mark over my head. Like I joined the group and I knew I was quite different and they were they were much more homogenous group and I was the kind of outlier and while I before I started on the program while I was pregnant and all that kind of stuff I got so much negative feedback that what I was trying to do was just ridiculous I got literally people after my face when I said I was going to come back from maternity leave and do the CCP program so it took quite a lot of personal strength to show up and sit in the group and I felt like in retrospect I probably invested a bit too much energy in proving I had the right to be there my philosophy at the time was that I didn't need to defend myself I had earned my spot and I would prove it through actions but even still I have made quite a lot of probably unnecessary effort to cover exactly how much it took for me at times and, mm-hmm. and how challenged I was by it at times so for me the actually showing up on the cases was the easy bit like yeah. the sick people are sick people they don't change in different services the expectations on a paramedic showing up at a sick person are not much different wherever you work or however you work so I had the leadership experience and the clinical experience already that gave me a lot of confidence in my ability to just manage to cope on the day mm-hmm. and it was the it was the background work and it was the, the everything else that was actually far more challenging for me and that I had to deal with much more kind of managing stress regarding than the, the actual cases. My style of working has always been focused on other people. My, my way of dealing with a really difficult case or challenging case or clinically complex case when I show up you start by listening taking as much information as you can and making the short-term immediate decisions to keep yourself safe and appropriate first and then you build on that so like that isn't any different on an easy case or a difficult case or a challenging case whereas the the stuff like simulations where you're being videoed and you're being watched and you're being assessed against a standard that you are not terribly certain of is far more challenging mm. and like the the people who I'm you know very good friends with now who who were the people assessing me the CSOs and the and the CCPs I was working with you know in they reflect back on it and they'll say I was very I was very grumpy I was very negative at times and it was all based on the the kind of internal battle that was going on about should I be there and was I able to do it and could I reach the standard and the like the frustrations of all these things are if you have if you're like born and bred QS if you if you're pure one system you understand the culture behind a lot of things Mm -hmm. but when you move to a new system you know there's policy and there's guidelines but there's an underlying culture that you have to to get to grips with before you can you really practice at a high level in that system Mm -hmm. so there was a big learning process for me about learning the culture the unwritten kind of culture and uh, stuff that other people knew from just having worked here wasn't obvious to me so like my learning process for some of that was really stressful and, and sometimes really frustrating the kind of grit that it takes to just show up again, you know, the, the thing that makes you get out of bed and polish your boots and go to work again and do it again and do it again and do it again and keep showing up until you're done is just something I feel like I, I have learned through my life and through my life experiences. So I wasn't going to give up easily. And the same in a, in a difficult case, you know, the, the expression of having your ass hanging out in a case where there are more things to do than you could possibly be doing and they all need to be done as a priority that is just I think an innate thing in me that I just keep going I'll just keep trying and uh, I think grit is probably the closest description I can come to for it and uh, I've had a like a you know a 
complicated life or a challenging life at times, family situations and that kind of stuff. And British is something that I've, I now have. Maybe I've learned it. Maybe I already had it. I don't know. 